So we were asked to think of a student that we believe in or has inspired us, and I chose you. Um, when I reflect on your whole high school career, I think of the spunky sass master that walked into my classroom as a freshman that had more personality and opinions I think I may be seeing a 14-year-old have, and I just liked you. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just have this energy to you like you kind of knew who you were but you were also a mess and it was really endearing and you stuck with ceramics which I was excited about and in 10th grade you weren't coming to school quite as early as we needed you to <laughs> which resulted in losing a class but it brought you into ceramics 3 uh, which ended up being wonderful because you just killed the AP portfolio but when I think about your four years that I've seen and the five you've been here, I can't imagine someone growing and maturing more. And I think what's maybe most exciting for me is that this isn't you peaking in high school in any way. We're just starting to get to see who you're gonna be. And if you continue on this, this path, I think you're gonna be able to do and be whatever you want. I mean, when you came in in 10th grade and you had lost your class, you were all mad about the consequences <laughs> that came with it. And I said, Iris, what are you going to do when you leave Mount Estanka High School? And you just snapped your head around and you said, I'm going to go to a four-year college, as if you were so offended that I had even, even asked you. And I thought, good, she should. She's smart enough, but you needed to make some different decisions. And we talked about that, which you were uh, not super open to, <laughs> but clearly have come around to. Um, and I, I hope you remember that confidence that came with, I'm going to go to a four-year college, and then the work that followed it to get you there. Because now you're going to UMD to be an art teacher, which I couldn't be more excited or proud of you for. Oh, you mean the stars. <laughs> and if you, if you take that work ethic you've developed, but also that believing in yourself, you're going to be able to be in, and do whoever and whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> oh, well. I was, I'm not supposed to say something. I don't know what to say. I don't know. I, it means a lot hearing you say that because you've been like my biggest role model throughout high school. I don't know. I know you know that, but like, I feel like we started our journeys together. In a way, and I just, you've done so much for me. I would not be, like, you say you're proud of me for my accomplishments and for getting better, and I wouldn't be where I am if it wasn't for you, and I wouldn't be inspired to do the things I want to do if it wasn't for you. And I thank you so much for everything you've done for me. Cause I was not at a good place when I came to you, and I'm leaving in, like, the best position ever, and I'm just so happy. And the way everything turned out, and like most of it's because of you, so thank you. Rob, I hope you learned in all of this that you're smart. Of course. Because when you came to me, I don't think you knew that. Yeah. And she wasn't in the West Tonka schools, that's why. <laughs> the only reason. Yes. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. But you are, you're so smart. And I, I was a student like you that didn't excel in the areas that high schoolers usually think makes them smart. Math was really hard for me. Um, and that's what we think of as being smart when you're a teenager. And there's so many other ways to be smart. And just a couple weeks ago when we were reviewing AP portfolios, I, Hensley and I just kept looking at each other because you would, I mean, you're missing a comma, there's two spaces behind the period in addition to like way bigger grammatical issues that you could point out, but your attention for detail and your confidence in picking out issues was so advanced, you know, and you carried yourself in this way too, where it wasn't, like women are criticized for being critical and you did it in such a, a matter of fact way, but you were right about everything. <laughs> I was like, oh, she's gonna be just fine. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I just feel like. In the world. Yeah, well, because of people like you, 
motivating me and believing in me. I was able to figure out things that I was good at and appreciate those things much more. And I think I still have areas to work on and given up on the things that like <laughs> I'm not so good at. But yeah, that means a lot to me to hear you say that, obviously. And those experiences will make you a great teacher. Because you're going to meet a kid like you. <laughs> I know. I'm Some you. bouncy, spunky, sass master. <laughs> Oh, so emotional. <laughs>